Hey guys, my name is Shashank and I welcome you to this video. In this video, we will talk about women who change the face of technology. So, let's get started. This is Sheryl Sandberg. Now, as users of Facebook and Google, it is impossible talking about these companies without the mention of this lady. An economics graduate from Harvard University, she started out her career with Google in 2001 and was majorly responsible for two products that changed the face of advertising globally, AdWords and AdSense. Later, she was poached by Mr. Mark Zuckerberg for Facebook in 2008 and since then she has been working with Facebook aggressively towards helping Facebook become a giant in social networking. She kickstarted Facebook's ad revenues, that is when she joined in 2008 and today Facebook mints billions of dollars in revenues through advertising. Now if we look at this lady, she has single-handedly worked with both these organizations generating billions of dollars in ad revenue, impacting millions of businesses across the globe. Reshma Sujani, a lawyer turned politician turned congress worker. Reshma was born in 1975 in Illinois, USA and while she was running for congress in 2010, she found that there was a major gap in the representation of women in STEM, science, technology, engineering and mathematics and that is when the idea of starting a venture called Girls Who Code came into being. Since its inception in 2012, Girls Who Code has impacted more than 450,000 girls and women in the United States. The program starts for people who are in grade 3 and continues till college and there are specialized programs wherein Girls Who Code have initiatives programs enabling female women in their tech community to be able to get started with their careers in tech and otherwise. So Jenny has been recognized globally for her work with Girls Who Code and we believe that this community is only going to get larger and stronger as we grow. Her accomplishments may include helping over half a million girls get started with their careers in tech but she has also been awarded with Fortune uh, under 40 under 40. She has been recognized by Forbes as one of the most powerful women on the planet and all of this has happened in a span of one decade. We look forward to what brings next with Girls Who Code and Reshma Sujaini. Imagine writing a computer program when the very idea of computers did not exist. The year is 1815. A lady called Ada Lovelace is brought into the world. Ada Lovelace was an English mathematician and writer who is said to have written the first ever program for Charles Babbage's analytical engine which was used to compute Bernoulli numbers. Now let's not get into what Bernoulli numbers is, but let's understand this, that at a point where mathematicians had to spend hours and hours doing calculations, solving equations, the analytical engine made that process very simple. And that engine, that machine was powered by what Edda Lovelace wrote. It is also cited that Edda Lovelace may have come up with the first ever definition of the term recursion. Again, if you want to learn recursion, go Google and type recursion, you'll understand something. But that's not the point. The point is, Edda Lovelace, it's been almost two centuries since her birth, but her work is still regarded as one of the best because she pioneered something that was not even something a lot of people could imagine. Computing algorithms. If you're watching this video on YouTube, then I think you should know this person. Susan Wojcicki. She started out as the first marketing manager of Google and is responsible for co-developing certain very interesting products by Google. Google Images being one of them. Allowing images to be accessed through searches is an amazing feature and Google Images is one of the projects attributed to Susan Wojcicki. She also was the first product manager of Google AdSense which is now a billion dollar industry for Google in itself. So Susan Wojcicki before serving as the CEO of YouTube has worked on major projects by Google. Google Doodles being one of them, the entire Google logo that has come out has also been built in the present or built or designed in the presence of Susan Wojcicki. Since Susan took over YouTube in 2014, the female representation of women teammates in the YouTube 
uh, community and team has increased from 24 to 30 percent, which is a staggering 6 percent increase in a span of just 14 years. So, if we look at Susan's contribution, she can be termed as the queen of online advertising. At the same time, her work towards empowering the female community can be clearly visible in the increasing representation of women in the team of YouTube. One lady we could not resist including in this list would be Sudha Murthy. She is the co-founder of Infosys. Infosys, as we know today, is one of the largest IT companies in the world, and the best part is it was born out of India, at a stage where startups were not a thing. Sudha Murthy also was the first female engineer to be hired in India. So she, while she was in college, she wrote a letter, a postcard to Telco, talking about the misrepresentation of women or zero representation of women in the engineering workforce, and she ended up getting the job. Later, she co-founded uh, Infosys with Narayan Murthy, and we all know Infosys as a massive company today. Later in her life, Sudha Murthy has transitioned herself into a philanthropist who has helped a lot of people in India. and she's actively involved with two foundations the infosys foundation and the gates foundation where she works in the healthcare initiatives today she is a published author she actively writes majorly about women and betterment of the society and some of her work has also been taken into uh, and made serials out of so sudha murthy as a name as an indian is very inspiring and i believe she would have served as inspiration to thousands of women in fact millions of women in india and across to start their careers in tech